Genesis chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require. At the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man. Whoso sheddeth man's blood, by man shall his blood be shed. For in the image of God made he man. And you, be ye fruitful, and multiply. Bring forth abundantly in the earth, and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And I, behold, I established my covenant with you and with your seed after you and with every living creature that is with you of the fowl of the cattle and of every beast of the earth with you from all that go out of the ark to every beast of the earth and i will establish my covenant with you neither shall all flesh be cut off any more uh, by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the token of the covenant which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. And it shall come to pass. When I bring a cloud over the earth, that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. And I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. And the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem and Ham and Japheth. And Ham is the father of Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah, and of them was the whole earth overspread. And Noah began to be an husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine, and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and told his two brethren without. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness and noah awoke from his wine and knew what his younger son had done unto him and he said cursed be canaan a servant of servants shall be he shall he be unto his brethren and he said blessed be the lord god of shem and canaan shall be his servant god shall enlarge enlarge japheth and he shall dwell in the tents of shem and canaan shall be his servant and noah lived after the flood three hundred and fifty years and all the days of noah were nine hundred and fifty years and he died okay so a lot we just went over in chapter nine quite a bit right <clears throat> okay so again listen to this all the days of noah were 950 years and he died again the even him so the flood happened during his 600 years so after the flood he still lived an additional 300 years almost three yeah 300 years and so wow that is 
a lot of time. And so during that time frame, even his sons, as we're going to read, start to populate the earth. His sons started to bear children and eventually their children bear children and so, so on and so forth. And so you also have um, that showing that the Lord provided the promise to Noah and his family and now the earth is being repopulated bringing past to present the uh, the story of noah the story of noah relates to our life and i encourage you to go to the lord and see how it relates to your life and and your walk with the lord and um how we are to have faith and see things through because the lord's will is there for us the lord's will is for good for our happiness for our, our joy to see us happy and in joy and in peace and at rest and in comfort. That is what our God is. He is the provider of our salvation. He is the redeemer. He is the good shepherd. And so when we have faith, when we walk with the Lord, then we too can come to his place of rest, which is that time of comfort, which is that time of praise and hallelujah and amen. And that's how it relates to our life and our walk with the Lord. Before we go on to the next point, though, what kind of thoughts or feelings come to your mind when we read over this? How does it make you feel? And what does it make you think?